All right, guys, I am going to try <clears throat> to do this flashlight some justice. Okay, this is kind of a fun uh, purchase that I recently made. And this is the Nightcore MH25 Pro, which you probably saw in the title and the thumbnail anyway, so I'm not sure why I'm telling you that. But <laughs> this is just a cool light. I, I don't know how else to tell you. Spoiler alert. I really like it. I think it's fun. Uh, I think it's practical for certain things. And we're going to talk about that. Um, and I've got a bunch of other lights out here to kind of show and compare. Um, I also did, I will insert, and I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute, um, some videos that I have of outside at night to show this light compared to an i3T compared to the FW3A, compared to the Yellow Day Energy, uh, I can always never remember the number, NFZ something, um, and tried and true, my 30-year-old 3D cell mag light flashlight. This thing is a beast, it's a workhorse, it still works phenomenally. Um, and is a respectable choice still in today's modern flashlight world, in, in my opinion, okay? This one you can see is worn. It, it was in my work truck for a long time. It's set in the center console between the seats. Like this thing has been around the block a lot, but it's still ticking. Um, I did do an LED uh, upgrade for the, uh, the lamp. Um, but yeah, just your standard 3D flashlight for Maglite. Now, what the Maglite has that this doesn't is the impact usage, right? So with this thing, you could use this as a hammer. You can use this to break glass. You can use this to... This is a, an impact weapon an impact tool, if you will, where this is not really. So for the law enforcement guys out there, um, which is where I got this idea from, my friend Stan, who is in law enforcement, he just bought this as a new duty light. I think this is a fantastic light for that type of thing. This will probably end up living in my car center console or in the Gluck apartment because it's perfect for that type of environment. A as you know, I always carry either an I3T. I carry the Yellow Day Energy a lot lately. Um, I've carried the uh, Focus Work. I always carry a pocket flashlight. This does come with a pocket clip. However... Um, you're going to have this much sticking out of your pocket. Like, I, I'm not sure that's going to work for me. And you can put it this way. However, you got this big old fat thing sticking in your pocket. So I don't know that this is a really good pocket carry. Now, if you saw the unboxing, it does come with its own sheath. This is how you're going to carry it on uh, a tool belt if you're in the constructions. This is how you're going to carry it on a duty belt if law enforcement or security. This is going to work fantastic for you. I may throw it in the sheath and then throw it in my glove box. And yeah, we'll see. Now, this is USB-C rechargeable. It's USB-C on one side. It's USB-A on the other I'm not sure how they, they should do better. They should have done USB-C to USB-C, and then it would have truly been a USB-C charging. But I can use another cable that I have for my MacBook or something like that. Okay, it does just charge here. This is weatherproof. The whole light is IP68 weatherproof, so it is submersible, submersible to uh, two meters, I think that is. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Let's talk about some specs here. It is 
just a little tiny bit over six inches long. Not, not enough to mention. It's six inches long. It is 1.06 here on the body. And then at the widest point at the very, the, the very tip of the head. Oh, boy. Um, it is 1.57 inches. Okay. Uh, weighs in at 7.1 ounces, which does start to add up especially if you're putting on a duty belt. But comparing that to a 3D mag light, I didn't weigh, but I will really quick off of camera. That comes in at one pound, 14 ounces. So almost two pounds. So if you're going from this to this, you're saving a lot of weight. Okay. Um, it has several different modes. And the, con the, the button configuration is a little bit strange. Even talking to my friend Stan, who has been now using this on duty, that is his biggest complaint would be the mode button. So it has a typical tail switch for on and off. Okay. Um, and then here you go, like it's, it comes up on low. One click gets you to medium. One click gets you to high. One more click gets you to turbo. Now, turbo is 3,300 lumen, okay? That's a lot, okay? It really is bright, and I will put a link in, uh, not a link, but I'll splice in the video here in a second. Um, there is also an ultra low mode. So you hold the mode button and you turn it on. Now it's at one lumen, now, one lumen is actually pretty usable for walking at night, lighting up a room, like not searching, not just regular like administrative tasks. This is a good uh, intensity. However, it's kind of got a green hue to it in this mode. And I think I can just click this up to the normal low mode is 50 lumen. And the green hue doesn't really show up here too well. Um, but as you go up in intensity, that green now goes away. Once you go to medium, high, and turbo, the green hue disappears, okay? It also has, and I won't demonstrate it here, it has an SOS, it has a strobe, and it has a beacon. The beacon basically does a pulse, every five seconds or something like that. And that's at the full intensity of 3,300 lumen. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna insert a video. And in the video, I, I talk a little bit of, hey, here is an I3T. Here is the FW3A. Like I tell you what it is. Um, so the audio is gonna be a little bit different, but we'll come back after that video kind of gets inserted here. There might be two videos because I did the F, the 3D mag light separate than the, just stay tuned. All right, we're out here on a football field at 4.30 in the morning. So testing some lights. Here is an Olight I3T. It's the brightest setting. Yeah, you can tell we're on a football field. Not too bad. And then if we go to another popular one, the Lumen Top FW3A in turbo mode, you can kind of see the goalposts over there. Not bad. And then what I've been carrying lately is the Yellow Day Energy YZF something, don't remember the name. And super big spot, lights up a lot. But now let's check out the Nightcore MH25 Pro. This is its lowest setting. If I turn it around here so I can get to the upper settings. And it's brightest setting. There's a the goalpost. Yeah. <laughs> this thing is crazy. Here is a 3D mag light on a football field. Not too bad. 
a little bit to carry for sure compared to the night core but let's pull out the night core this is on low setting if i move it around here to figure out where the buttons are low medium high super high <laughs> this thing is nuts yeah worth 100 bucks for sure all right so hopefully you got through those videos and they made some sense I was standing on the football field at the high school, one block this way, and yeah, it lit up the goalpost. I was at the goalpost on one side, and it was lighting up the goalpost at the other side. I don't think I mentioned that in the video where I was standing. So yeah, that was 100 meters. They claim that the throw on this is 700. I'm sorry, the football field's 100 yards because we're here in the United States. They claim that this throws out 705 meters. You guys can do the math on how many feet, miles, whatever that is. Yeah, it goes a long way. And you don't even have to be in the turbo mode to get that far of a reach. It's pretty crazy. But yeah, as you saw in the video, as you turn it on, if you want to change modes, you have to kind of rotate it around to find where the button is to go up in intensity and go down in intensity. Now this does have a memory. So if you are on the high mode and you turn it off, you turn it back on, it does come back on in high. There are some indicators here if it will focus. So this tells you where you're at intensity wise, low, medium, high and turbo. And then over here on this side, it gives you a battery indicator. Um, four is 75% or better, and it kind of goes down, right? Typical stuff. So as we zoom back out, it does have a replaceable battery. Not only is it rechargeable in the light, you know, by the USB-C port, it is a 5,300 milliamp. Um, so you can, if need be, buy a second battery, either from Nightcore, or I'm sure you can just find this number, um, the 2170, 21700 battery at whatever battery place you're buying your 18650s and things like that. And you can have a spare battery if you need. Now, as you run this on turbo mode, it's going to generate a lot of heat. It is not recommended for long-term use on the turbo mode. All right, so here it is next to the i3T from Olight, the FW3A, the Yellow Day Energy, uh, a Big Knives Deadwood Custom. Again, this is like an um, 18350 battery, AAA battery, 18650, 18350. Here is an Olight i5T, which is a AA battery. And, oh, here is the Focusworks. This is the 14, what is the battery on this? I really like this size. For me, this is kind of like the sweet spot size. Um, it's the 14500 battery. What I don't like about this light is it's just so smooth. It really kind of slips in your hand when you deploy it from your pocket. It needs some sort of texturing up here. But other than that, it's a cool light for sure. I like this size better than I like this fat size here. I've just, I don't know. I've been carrying this a lot lately, last month or so, but I love this size better. So somebody's got to come up with a better 14500 size battery for me. Uh, it does come with an extra O-ring. It does come with a wrist lanyard, whatnot. I don't know, guys. I will put an Amazon link down below because it's Amazon for 99 bucks plus tax and whatever. You know, I think it was $107 shipped to me. I think it's totally freaking cool. No lie. It's just a cool light. It throws like a mother. As you saw, I... I, yeah, I think it's totally cool. For law enforcement guys, this might be perfect. If you're doing security, it might be perfect. 
if you want to just have a good light in your car for if you break down on the freeway and things like that, this could be perfect because we all are charging our phones in the car. Leave this in the car with it and you can charge your light if you need to. Or if you've moved to the iPhone 15, it has USB-C charging and you already have a charger in your car. So I don't know. Let me know your thoughts, guys. I haven't been this kind of excited about a flashlight in a long time. And for a hundred bucks, I think there's a lot to be excited for. Thanks, guys.